Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about a real-time QRS detection algorithm using MATLAB. It is this example shows how to detect the QRS complex of electrocardiogram signal in real time. It is a model-based design is used to assist the development, testing, and deployment of the algorithm. Here, uh, one small introduction about the ECG. The electrocardiogram is a recording of body surface potential generated by the electrical activity of the heart. The clinicians uh, can evaluate an individual's cardiac condition and overall health from the ECG recording and perform further diagnosis. A normal ECG waveform is uh, illustrated here. Here uh, is the ECG signal source block. This ECG signal source signal. The ECG signal is used in the development and testing of the biomedical signal processing algorithm. And mainly, the, there are three more sources are there. First one is a database. That is a biomedical database. For example, MITBH. Uh, Harvard Mia data, database and we are using uh, some uh, online ECG simulators are there for example ECG SIM uh, this, uh, this software uh, is used to generate uh, synthetic ECG signals in MATLAB here also this, this software generates a synthesized ECG signal with the user acceptable heart rate and number of beats sampling frequency waveform morphology like uh, PQRS and T timing T timings amplitude and uh, durations also standard deviation of the rr interval and lf hf ratio it is a the software generates the, uh, this kind of uh, signals synthesized easy signals it's a <coughs> yeah, what is the lf and hf ratio is a, a measure of uh, relative contributions of the low and high frequency components of the uh, rr time series uh, to the total heart rate variability here and the next one next one is uh, next source is a uh, real time ecg data acquisition in this example we are using um, pre recorded and simulated ecg signals uh, and these signals are used the signals having sampling frequency of 360 hz here one of the set uh, recorded ecg uh, data sample from a uh, healthy volunteer here there are this input that is a sub uh, ECG signal selector that is a subsystem contains uh, 182 uh, bits per uh, minute that is a BPM one uh, recorded one Pre uh, remaining one 45, 60, 160, 220 is a synthesized one this ECG data was uh, pre-filtered and amplified by the analog front front end before feeding it to the 12 bit ADC here is a uh, process there Can convert sample rate to 200 hz so uh, the four set of synthesized signal here the four set four set of synthesized signals um, easy signals with different mean heart rates ranging from 45 to 2 uh, you can see 45 to 220 ppm rates uh, here uh, this is generated by using this software called ecg sim software this way it is available in online here there are uh, settings for generating uh, synthesis ECG data sampling frequency 360Hz additive uniform uh, distribution uh, measurement noise here we set by 0 0.005 uh, millivolt this is a standard deviation of heart rate 1, 1 bm sample rate converter block this one after that is the main block ECG signal processing blocks in this block we observe the heart rate display and uh, and raw raw and filter EC signals in the scope which are which also illustrate the updating of peaks thresholding and estimated main update here uh, this is a block QRS reduction blocks the band based filter blocks and the differentiator uh, here uh, this block this block is used to direct the QRS reduction is a function is available here then now you can run the simulator you can show heart rate and peak and threshold and the heart rate heart rate value and uh, raw and filter EC signals. There are there are three scopes are used to uh, to find the uh, QRS detection. After run, we, we can observe the heart rate display and uh, raw and filter EC signals in the scope. Here also one more possible is there. After uh, selecting the target hardware, you can generate code from the EC signal pro uh, processing subsystems. 
is a subsystem and uh, deploy it to the uh, target. Now we can see the real time output. So the first uh, scope is for uh, hard time pick and threshold scope. And next one is a raw and filter easy signal. Here you can see the heart rate, the real time uh, heart rate you can see. Now you can see the heart rate and peak threshold value depending upon the is a real time value. Here it shows that the heart rate, this one, the reserve uh, heart rate 89 depending upon the scope. So depending upon the values, it shows the uh, heart rate. And then it, uh, it's a, it shows the peak and threshold value. Finally, you can see the raw and filter easy signals. This amplitude is a raw input signal. This is your output signal. There is a filter signal. That is a QRS uh, detected uh, uh, signals. signal you can be able to see now. You can see this is your filter output. After select, after run, after run, you can able to select the run on target hardware. Here you can set the hardware implementation. You can choose the hardware board here. Take some more time. Hardware board. Here we, we, we have, we have to, you want to implement Arduino board, you want to implement Raspberry Pi, you can say get the hardware board here, yeah, depending upon for example uh, Arduino, uh, Arduino Nano board, it initializes um, hardware about parameter values and also here uh, one more option is there, if you are a device vendor you can select the device vendor. It is Admiral or uh, AVR processor, ASIC or FPGA implementation. In any, any, way, any, you can, uh, any hardware you can. Would, here a lot of uh, hardboard, hardware board settings are available here. Here uh, the operating system is a uh, bare metal R and the tar target hardware. You have to uh, target hardware resources you, you have and building options, uh, building actions also there. Here if you want to implement in Raspberry Pi. Here you can select Raspberry Pi hardware. Based on your uh, selecting hardware board, also it shows the vendor also. It's a ARM compatible and the device type. Here, here, here itself you can choose the device type. Here hardware board settings. Your operating system is uh, Linux. Linux, for example, Raspberry Pi operate only in uh, Linux. Uh, also you can set the uh, base rate task proper priority. Here target hardware resources. For example, device address, you, can, you have to choose the device addresses, address also there. You, if, you, if you want to use other, other kind of hardware support packages, means you can directly click get hardware support packages. It directly goes to the Mathwork website. Here you can choose what type of hardware you want. You can select the, it's a free, free, free version of hardware selected packages, support packages. By using add-on explorer, you can uh, get the Simulink support packages for this. Already I installed the um, for Arduino hardware. Here the Simulink coder packages for ARM Cortex based VX microcontroller. Depending upon your hardware, uh, you can choose the hardware uh, add-on by using add-on explorer. You can choose the hardware support packages. Here, uh, for example, Raspberry Pi hardware I already installed. If you want to install for uh, if you want to implement in uh, um, uh, Lego mine domes, for example, different, uh, depending upon your applications, you can choose the coder. For example, uh, Texas by 16 instrument, I want to use means we click here. Here, we can install a download only, download only means it downloads only the in the form of zip files. Afterwards, you have to download, then you click install means the embedded coder support packages for a Texas instrument uh, based on the C2000 processors. In this, in, in this way, you can add the hardware support packages for um, um, implementation, hardware implementation. I can apply, you can use code. Also, one more option is available, code generation. You can uh, 
after uh, successfully run the hardware also you can make it as, as a language c c is embedded uh, coder language c c plus plus language here yeah, generate code only also you, you can able to gen generate report also uh, for example uh, if you click the code generation report report option create code generation reports open the report automatically generates model web webs and here a lot of options are available uh, to get the uh, get in the form of uh, report this is the uh, one of the advantage by using this simulink matlab simulink this example shows uh, the uh, summary of a real time qrs reduction algorithm using matlab thank you